All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, welcome back to the channel. And uh, we are back with a 3D sex effect tutorial. Um, I think we really got uh, two on the channel, the ice and the water. So today, I think we're going to do... Uh, Today we're gonna do a fire sex effect. So, I uh, real quick just to let y'all know we have a uh, completely new website as you can see here. So if you hit shop, we have all the categories. So if you go to user interface, as you can see, and uh, the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products. You have a search bar up here, and if you want to log in, sign up. But uh, yeah, with that being said, make sure to check our website at gfxcomma.com hope you enjoy this video alright so I think I'm going to download this one chore slip out fire are right, now next and right click blending options I'm gonna go gradients overlay and you wanna do uh, sort of an orange like this yeah alright now we're gonna right click Rest, rest, layer style. Now we are going to make a new layer. Right click, create the clipping mask. We're going to take a pencil, shape up here, fill the zone, choke it off, and we're just going to make a, uh, a pattern. Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah. As you can see, we're just going to bring it up. And we're gonna take the mode. We're gonna go overlay. Now we're just gonna copy it, clip it again, just like that. I'm gonna go keep this one on. Uh, let's see. Let's go white and overlay mode, just like this right here. All right. Now we could take uh, take the entire sex or this first layer. We're gonna hold Alt, drag it up, and hold Control, click over here. It was light. Let's go modify contract by ten, and now we um, let's go to this tool. Right click, select inverse, and we're gonna hit backspace twice. All right now we're gonna change our colors to white. Now we're gonna hit Alt backspace twice. Control D. I'm going to make the mode overlay like this, and I'm going to take my eraser tool, and you can erase out some parts that you don't want. So, all right. Now that we have this, uh, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make a new layer and uh, drag it down. I'm going to clip it back into the first layer. Let's take my colors of white. I'm just gonna make some highlights. Something like that. Clip this back in. And there we go. Alright, and uh, make the mode into overlay, all of these. So let's take these into overlay. Alright, that's cool. That, and you can take your eraser tool and just erase out some sharp edges like that. Right, you could uh, copy and paste this. Erase this tool again, as you can see. All right, and we could control click, color to black or backspace to make this a uh, dark variation. Now, same thing. 
Alright, erase out the sharp edges. Alright, now we got that. Um, let's see what else I could do. Right click, blending options. I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got bevel and bus. Maybe just slightly. I see now. Alright. Now we're just going to take this alt drag down to copy. And we're also going to move it down just a bit. Alright, I'm going to right click, blending options, I'll take off inner glow, I'm going to go color overlay, select this orange and make it darker. There we go. Um, yeah, that's better. Alright, now we're just going to take this, right click, rest range layer style, make a new layer. Eyedropper tool, click on this color, pencil, and from here, just like all of our other videos we are just going to connect these points so um yeah let's go like that all right so once you're done with that we're going to take all these click on the click on the top shape hold shift click on the uh duplicate and now we're just gonna hit ctrl e to make all of these into one make a new layer we right click create clipping mask and we're going to take our brush tool. The color is going to be on black. We're going to go up here. Oops. Alright, so we're going to go right here and just paint from the top down like this. Alright, so let's see you're done with that. I'm going to make the mode into soft light. Now we're going to make a new layer. And we're just going to clip it in. Same. This time the color is going to be on white. And I'm just going to paint some uh, highlights. Alright, and make the mode into overlay. We could copy this. Um, yeah. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to take this 3D layer. I'm going to copy it to the top. I'm just going to move it up. Uh, click, color overlay. And let's change the color. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Maybe this right here. Alright, and I'm going to rush rise. Um, rush rise there, so. Take this. And let's do color dodge mode. But uh, yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. If this helped you, make sure to leave a like. Uh, comment down suggestions on what else you want a tutorial on. Make sure to join on Discord, and with that being said, I will see you all next time.